Hello, beating friends. This is Veronica. Welcome back to another video here on the Homestrung Jewelry Video School. And today we are going to do something just boho, hippie style, funky, whatever you want to call it. And um, just a lot of fun, you know, because sometimes I'll make things that are, you know, lots of crystals, pretty and everything. And I have mentioned that I do all kinds of different styles and today is going to be one of those things that are different than the sparkle or the dainty that I make. So we are going to do a, um, again, it's a boho hippie style. So hopefully you can see this here. And these are going to be um, items or elements from the May and July box. <laughs> So you're going to need some head pins. Uh, these ones came in the box for the July. I have some seed beads here. It is um, my, these are 11 O's. They are the Toho 11 O's, but they are in that teal color. And these here are the, I guess that yellow opalite. And I called them citrine the last time. They, they look very similar. I have two pieces of chain here. Uh, three links each, which is, this is about a four by three. I have some spacer beads. If you don't have all of this, that's okay. You can just, you know, find some stuff that just kind of gives you that old style hippie vibe and just put things together. Um, again, I have some of these here. This is from my stash. Okay, these are the they are round rondelle, they're smooth. Okay. And I'm gonna be using these um this yellow opal opalite um in two areas. Okay. So I also have these discs that came in, I believe, the May box. And so I have a few of those. I'm going to be using my check. These are like three millimeter, uh, three or four millimeter. I think they're, hold on. Nope. They're four millimeter, but they look so much tinier than a four millimeter. These are check and these are like a raspberry Picasso. And, um, they are a check bicone. As you can see, the beautiful colors that are in there. Okay. And then I'm going to be using my check, uh, that lotus flower that's on a uh, little coin bead here. Okay. And I'm going to be using the mahogany obsidian in the four millimeter. I have some wood beads here. And that's pretty much it but you will also need about 20 gauge. You'll need your round nose pliers, uh, flat nose pliers, uh, your flush cutters, you know, something that, you know, that you can open up, you know, your ear wire and any other, cause we're going to do some simple loops, but some wrap loops as well. You'll need your wire straighteners. Well, I think that's it for now. If anything comes up, I'll let you know. All right. So let me, uh, Pull out the first thing that we're going to do, and then we'll go ahead and move on to the next. All right. Okay, so we're going to start with these here. And as you can see, <clears throat> I have them. These here, if you notice, the holes are very large. So, and with this, it just, it'll just wobble back and forth. So the little solution to that is by putting some of these 11 O's in there. Okay. And I'll show you how I do that. So we're going to take and oops, this, not this one here, <laughs> not the head pin. 
I'm going to take my 22 gauge because we're doing some wire wrap. And because this is going to be um, connected, uh, have something connected on each end, then we'll need to make a wire wrap on both ends. So you can take your wire straightener. And I'm using the 22 gauge, and that is because these holes here are very small. You may be able to get a 20 in there, but it'll be very tight. And so I'm just going to use the 22 gauge, and that's perfect since we're doing a um, wrap loop anyway. So we won't have to worry too much about um, a weak, uh, simple loop on a 22 gauge. Depends on, again, what you're making. And I think because there's going to be some weight to them, so I would rather not um, use these uh, 22 gauge as uh, using a simple loop. So I'm just going to cut, oh, probably uh, three and a half, four inches. Okay. And then I'm going to take my round nose pliers. And about a third down, because we're only going to probably wrap around once. Okay. And then I'm going to come up and around. I hope I'm doing this right. And um, again, I've made changes. So <clears throat> I don't have all my tools. I have them to the left and to the right. And so... Keep going back and forth. Just want to make sure that's all right. So, and it's thin enough where, or pliable enough where you can probably use your fingers. If you're not comfortable with that, then you can go ahead and use. So, uh, use a uh, another plier. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Cut this off right here. And again, I'm not going to worry about tucking that in until after because I like to get the beads on. So what I'm going to do is put on the first, the Raspberry Picasso check bicone. And then I'm going to just going to put this on as I go along. And then as you can see, it's still kind of wobbly. So I'm just going to add, I'm just going to keep adding them like that because they should, um, you know, it's like creating a little wall in there. Okay. All right. So now we can go ahead and put on another 11 and then that, and then just let them fall down in there. Okay. All right, now I'm going to add this and hopefully All right, so again, we're going to go with I'm just going to add the 11 O's as I see fit. Okay. they fit right in there oops make sure it falls right in there this one could use another one okay and then we're gonna go ahead with all right so now I'm going to go ahead and make the other uh, wrap loop. Now you could put in, you know, the end of this here, but I'm just going to bend it over because it should be enough room for me to get that one and a half or two wraps. Because normally I'll use, I'll do three. And so when I'm doing three wraps, I know that this end of my plier is just the right size to give me 
enough room to wrap three. So since I don't want three, I'm not going to use it. I'm just going to go ahead and bend get my round nose pliers and I know it's a little pliable here because it's only a 22 gauge <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and make my okay and then hold on to that here Come in a little, so hopefully, all right. Now we want to make sure that when you're doing your wrap loops, because I want to get um, this on here, so we don't want to close that one just yet. Um, where's the other earring? So, as you can see here there's two wrap loops so you definitely need to uh, keep this open so I'm going to open it a little bit and I think it's just for this one because the other ones will be a simple loop so now I'm going to go ahead and make a wrap loop here and this one's just kind of a messy wrap I don't need anything special and so I'm going to go ahead and put my I'm just come around Let's see all right so now I'm gonna go make my loop where is this Sorry, I'm hit the camera. It's, I, and then I'm going to come up the other way. And... So I'm going to push this. Oh, sorry, guys. I know that's annoying. So I'm going to cut that right there. And now I'm going to go ahead and squish that in there. Now that I've got that there, I'm going to go ahead and slip that on here. All right, and now I'm going to close this one back up. Let's get away from you. I want to keep that straight. Okay. Now I'm going to hold on to that. And I should be able to go around that. <clears throat> I'm going to use this here. All right. And. All right. Now let's same amount of time uh, same amount of go around as the other side all right so I know this is kind of crazy I'm gonna have to come back out because like I said my hands want to go to the other way because for <laughs> over five years I've been 
recording in that direction, having it on the other side. So um, something that I have to get used to because I've made the change. Um, but then again, if I can't, I'm just going to have to change everything around and put it to the other side that I'm used to. I've been doing it for so long on the other side. Hmm. Got to make sure this is tucked in and nothing, there's no pokes. Anything that could poke you. Okay. All right, so we have that done. So that's going to be in the center. Okay. All right, so what I'm going to do is put that aside. We're going to pull up the next thing. Okay. Um, so let me get that, and I'll be right back. All right, so the next thing here, I was just, I had to uh, use my earring as a reference. So the next one we're going to do is this one here. So it's going to be all on one pin. Okay, let me grab that here. And uh, that's this one over here. Sorry. Yeah, I'm well prepared. <laughs> All right, so this is what this is going to look like here. All right, so I'm using a little bead cap, okay, with the mahogany obsidian. I'm going to be using the the what is it the yellow opalite and then the check rondell and the check by cone okay so this again now i can go ahead and make that little bend here make the little wraps if you don't want a lot of wraps then just come up a little bit and bend and you'll have less space and you can do one or two wraps instead of the three that normally that size at the end of of that would normally give you okay This is good. This will give me just that perfect two, I think. That's all I need. And again, this is another uh, wrap that we don't need to leave open because we're just going to open up the end of the chain to put that on here. Because the chains that I have now, if you have chain that does not open on one of the end, then you're going to want to take your... Um, why your wrap before you wrap it up put it on the link of the chain okay all right so that's going to come here so i'm going to take that and i'm going to open this side up and put that on here so as you can see All right, so that's now as you can see I have it set <clears throat> so that it is on this side so we want the opposite once we have our ear wire once we uh, put that on there then we want to make sure that that's going to be on this side so it'll be like this and then this and now we will make our last one so this one here since you already since I've already shown you how to do the wrap loop I'm going to show you this simple loop and then I'll do the other one off camera and then I'll be back to we'll put it all together because also with this area here there's three I found three that would be similar in um, size for both sides and color and these are just simple loops as well okay so let me do the simple loop here for those of you who are new to jewelry 
So at that point, I'm going to take some of my 20 gauge wire and I'm going to straighten that out. So I'm going to move these out of the way. Move that. And just straighten your wire. And what I like to do is make sure that it's flush at the end so that it's just nice and straight. This is where I'm going to take and make my loop. So you go to your mark, whatever size you prefer, and just make the loop here. And then you can come back in and place the other side right at the edge so that you have your nice cute little loop here okay and then you just cut off you don't need a whole lot because you're only having a few items on there okay make sure that's nice and straight so that you can get the beads on so I'm gonna put on the bead cap the rondelle and the triangle bead. This is beautiful because it's got the AB finish on there. If you can see right there. It's just so pretty. Okay, and then I'm just gonna bend from here. And you kind of want all your, your loops going the same way. And again, cut your <clears throat> your loop uh, or your wire to the size that you prefer for your size loop. All right, so I have my little loop here. All right, and just make sure they're facing the same way. And then this one, we don't have to actually open the chain since these are simple loops. We can just go ahead and open our, and stick our chain on, all right? And then give that a nice close. I always make sure they're nice and straight. All right, so I'm gonna get the other ones done, the other simple loop and the other wrap loop, and then we'll come back and put everything together. All right, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. So t we're gonna take, this is what I made with the other simple loops. And as you can see with this one, I have the lighter one on top, so I'm gonna keep that same, oops. I have the lighter one at top, so I'm gonna keep the same thing. Now, these will not be exactly identical in length because of the differences in the organic uh, pieces. So we'll just do our best, and I'm sure it's not quite that noticeable when you are wearing them. And so I'm going to lay this out. So as you can see, we have this on this side, this on this side, and this on this side. So obviously we know we have the center. And we're going to put these two together here. So we're going to go ahead and open up this piece. I'm going to hang that right on there. Now, if you want to add tiny little jump rings in between, that's totally up to you. If you want to lengthen it, it's uh, again, it's your, it's your design, your style. And this is just, again, technique and for foundation. Um, to give you some inspiration okay and then we're going to go ahead and put this on this side and then this is going to go on this side so first we're going to go ahead and put this on to our ear wire and as you can see this one I actually took you can see I used 22 gauge and I flattened that out <clears throat> and I gave it a good hammer with one of my rubber mallets so it really made it nice and stiff. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and open this end. 
I want to keep it facing the way we're supposed to, okay? All right, so I'm going to, I have to pay attention. So I want to open that up. Okay, so this is going to be the front. So I want to go ahead and add this first. I hope in here, let me come in so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to add this first. Then I'm going to add this one and then I'm going to add this one. So now they are opposite from the other earring. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Then I'm gonna go ahead and close that. Just double check. And there we have it. So we have two. I just wanna make sure that's gonna go on right. Hold on. All right, so that's facing that way, that way, and that way. So yeah. So you can wear them like that, or you can flip them around and have the smaller end in. Okay. I like it. Yeah, because, you know, like I said, I like to do all kinds of different styles. I'm not so bent on just one particular style because... You know, I mean, I wear different clothes. I wear, I, I don't know. I just, I think the biggest thing for me is that I just wear it. I'm a walking billboard. And if, you know, people have all kinds of different styles and taste. And so if I can, um, you know, be that advertisement as I'm walking around, they'll know that I can make that style for them. And I really do think this is so cute. And absolutely so hippie, so boho. <laughs> um, I just really enjoyed it. So I hope that you enjoyed it as well. And sorry for being out of the frame. I'm still working on it. And I, I think that I just may have to change everything around. So everyone, I hope that you have a beautiful day. And you know what? maybe I should just try these on. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try them on so you can see what they look like. Yeah, I'll do that. All right, I'll be right back. Hi, everyone. I'm back, and here they are. So, sorry my hair is down today. My nice long hair, as you guys can see. I have very long hair. <laughs> anyway, so uh, here it is, and I think they are just... They are so cute. It's like... You know, summertime, you know, I don't know. It's just so home on the range kind of thing. They're so pretty. They really are. So I hope you guys can see that. And, you know, you got that just a little element of sparkle like I like to have. And I just love all the colors together. They're so pretty. Really, really pretty. All right, so... I, everyone, I hope that you enjoyed the video, even though I may have been out of the screen, but I apologize for that, and hopefully the next one will be better. So everyone, I hope that you have a beautiful night. God bless. Love you all. Peace, and we'll see you soon. Mwah.